caring for those who once care for us is one of the highest honors says tia walker in today's world where old age is often considered as an illness and not as a state of life where the elderly population is ever on the increase where nuclear families are on the rise where globalization leaves no room for the poor to be old is it an illness or a burden in this fast and busy world and like many others was engrossed in her own life but at the sight of a helpless old man and was moved and she rushed to his aid her experience that day raised one important question why are the elderly abandoned a similar question troubled saint jean jugon in 1839 in france and in answer to this question she founded the congregation of the little sisters of the poor she took a poor blind paralyzed abandoned elderly lady into her own home and offered her own bed to care for her jean was poor herself and so to provide for this poor lady and all the other elderly poor that she would be welcoming into her home she begged for them collecting for their needs this gesture of caring for the elderly and collecting on their behalf has continued in her daughters up until today god's providence is so great we thank our friends and benefactors who are the instruments of his providence in helping us the life of a little sister is to follow jesus serve the elderly witness the mercy of the father live the beatitudes whatever we do to the least of these my brethren we do unto him and it's a great joy for me to serve the elderly today in 31 countries of the world the elderly find a home it is so good to stay with our mother founders look at the poor with compassion and jesus will look at you with kindness on your last day they are respected esteemed and loved it is my joy to look up to the sick we accompany them on their life journey making the elderly happy is all that counts we help them to utilize their gifts the elderly regain their sense of usefulness caring for and comforting the sick we help them to prepare for their final homecoming and this is a joy for us we accompany our elderly in the final encounter with god the council of saint jean jugon making the elderly happy is all that counts becomes a life program for us such a beautiful charism can only be continued by a life of prayer where the eucharist is always the center of our life where mother mary is our model joy and protection where saint joseph remains as the provider of our needs by a community life supported by fraternal encounters
What is needed to become a little sister of the poor? A desire to follow Jesus. A large, generous heart. Loving hands. A willingness to serve the poor. Would you also like to be a part of the family of Saint Jean Jugong? As a little sister of the poor? Or a member of the lay association of Saint Jean Jugong? Or a friend, benefactor or volunteer? If so, take time in prayer to listen to God. Take time to visit one of the homes of the Little Sisters of the Poor. Take time out to spend with the elderly. And visit us on our website at www.littlesistersofthepoor.org.